blink and you may miss them. Go, 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 go! Soldiers at Joint Base Langley Eustis spent Sunday sprinting, scaling, and shooting. After that, it's the final event, that's a drag. I promise you that thing's like 200 pounds. <laughs> the Mammoth Global Partners Military Battle Challenge is part of a week of events leading up to Memorial Day. This whole week is about remembering the fallen. We have Commander's Cups, which is softball and volleyball and some gaming tournaments going on. We'll have a retreat ceremony. We have the Military Battle Challenge. It's the first time in almost a year that soldiers could come together like this, which is why Commanding General of the Army's Training and Doctrine Command, Paul Funk says he wouldn't miss it. I think people are excited to get back outside and share, share in life together. It's very important, I think, that the nation see its military moving back out and getting ready to get after this. And we're ready all the time, anywhere. In some 90 degree heat, with the rifle in hand and 20 pound vest on their chest, the men and women tested their abilities with military specific obstacles. In a combat environment, you never know exactly where you're going to be or what the next task, task is going to be. Just everything kind of, you can see a purpose served around it. As of Sunday morning, Jackson Valone was course champion, finishing in one minute and 42 seconds, securing bragging rights and $500. Hopefully save it, not spend it on all the food here. Even with endorphins flowing, that's not, that's not. <laughs> the meaning behind the competition was felt by everyone. Remember that freedom isn't free, and these sacrifices are made by men and women every day, and that's what this means. That's what's important. In Newport News, Erin Miller, News 3.